guys, it's me Julia and welcome back to a new video with me. In today's video, as you guys can see, we are located in the Rider Performance Gym here at Hartbury Equine. We are filming an equestrian workout routine for you guys. This will be quick and easy, a home workout. You will not need any kind of equipment or weights. This is really simple. All you need is some kind of larger space, get some water, stay hydrated, and maybe a mat because the floor isn't that comfortable. As you guys can see today, I am not alone. I'm here with Eliza Harvey. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Eliza. I'm an international inventor and a student athlete here at Hartford. Eliza's one of my closest friends. She's usually behind the camera. How many we film videos from you guys? But today I managed to get her in front of the camera because she's been gymming for a lot longer than me. She knows what she's talking about, and yeah, she's gonna help me show you guys all the exercises and the workout routine. Here at Heartbreak, we place a massive emphasis on rider fitness. Um, we have world class facilities both for the, when we're riding and when we're working out. This gym is one of them. Um, so, this is one of the workouts that our personal trainer Meg would give us. Today's video is in collaboration with our personal trainer and strength and conditioning coach. Meg Roberts, Rider Performance. She is the strength and conditioning coach for the Heartbreak Equine Academy as well as the Equestrian Club and focuses on fitness for the equestrian. Meg holds sessions for the general public. She does personalized programs and she also works um, with the DICE program. Doesn't matter where you are, all around the world, she can make you a personalized fitness program tailored just to yourself, your own needs and what you're trying to improve. If you're trying to stay fit during lockdown or just in general, while you can't ride or while you can ride, this is an amazing routine for you equestrians to stay fit. Yeah, let's jump right into the exercise. First things first, it is so important to warm up your muscles, especially before you're working out. You do not want to risk injuring yourself. I'm starting my warm up with some basic scapular push ups. As you guys can see here, I am squeezing my shoulder blades together. It's really important that you don't actually move your arms, your shoulders are doing all the work. Next up, we're moving to some cat camels, also 10 times. Try to make your spine as mobile as possible, and they feel super good. Next up, we've got the reverse lunges with a twist and a reach. You want to make sure to step backwards into your lunge position, and then you twist over the leg that is in front and reach up. And once again, you step backward, twist over your front leg, and reach up as high as you can into the sky. Next up, we've got Liza demonstrating our inchworms. These are not my personal favorite. They're actually quite challenging. The challenge is that you need to try to keep your legs and your knees as straight as you possibly can without bending them. And that's our warm up done. Here's our first exercise, which are walking lunges. And you want to do 10 on each side, which means 20 in total. One thing to watch out for is that your front knee does not reach over your toes. Trying to form a right angle with your knees, as well as keeping your back really straight and upright. These are really, really great for a strong rider's leg. You will definitely feel these. Next up, we've got glute bridges. You want to do 10 of these, making sure you have a really straight back as well as squeezing your glutes as you come up. It's also important to come up quickly and then slowly let your weight drop. Once you have mastered these and want to make this a little bit harder, you can do single leg glute bridges. They work the same way, just making sure that you do the same amount on each leg, for example, 10 on each, keeping your back really straight as well as raising quickly and then slowly releasing without dropping too quickly and squeezing those glutes all right next up we're going to do some push-ups there's a few different variations of push-ups you guys can try out. We've got an easier version, a slightly harder, and a very advanced push-up type. 
We're going to show you three times now and you guys can crack on and decide whatever suits you best for your own abilities. Here I'm showing you guys a full push up. These are quite tricky actually and I'm not going to lie, they took me quite a while to master. You want to make sure to have your elbows pointing about 45 degrees away from your sides as well as keeping your back really really straight. Okay. Next type we've got a slightly easier way of doing push ups and you do them on your knees and the further your knees go back the more difficult you're making them. So a very easy version would just be like this. Another form of press up you can do is on the bar or on a table on the edge of a couch. Um, it's a little bit harder than the lady ones Julia just did, but it's easier than doing a full press up. We really focus on our posture in the gym because that means we have good posture on the horse, and that is why we are here. These can be quite tricky as well to start, it took me quite a bit to understand fully because you are really using your core here and are really activating those muscles. A little tip when you're starting them, I recommend doing them against a wall and then gliding your leg up and down against the wall just to make sure that you're straight. are my personal favorite. They're called dead bugs. There's two ways of doing them. What you want to do first is make sure you're lying completely back flat on the ground. If you can fit fingers under your back, you're doing it wrong. And then here comes the hard part. You want to push your feet away as far as you can before actually touching the ground and before your back lifts off the ground. Now, once you have mastered this, you can move on to make this a little bit harder for yourself. This is great for your coordination as well and learning how to use your legs and your arms individually from your body. So you just move your arms along as well, cross diagonally from your legs before actually touching the ground. for our workout but wait we're not done yet <laughs> it's really important to finish off with some stretches because you don't want to be sore the next day because that's not fun so we're gonna now do a few stretches we're gonna start off with the front hip stretch and what we're gonna do first is get in the lunging position and then just lift the back foot up while pushing the hip forward we're gonna then go into the greatest stretch of the world and that's actually what it's called and stretching upwards as far as we can and then kneeling back down and going into the thoracic twist having your shoulders as low as you can to the floor and then going into child's pose to reach out as far as you can repeat it on the other side and that's it all right and that was our whole exercise routine don't forget to stay hydrated water is really important especially when you exercise now we're in lockdown especially, it's a really good time to get on top of your fitness. Um, you want to be the strongest you can when the season comes around. And I think we can both oh, yeah. agree that our position has gotten so much better since coming to Heartbreak and working with Meg. Um, oh, yeah. These exercises, they work, they're designed for riders and they do make a massive difference in the saddle. If you want to become the best rider you can be, working out on top of your riding is so important. If we look at all the top riders in the world, they all have an exercise routine, they all do something similar to this. So we know it works um, and it's a really good way for you to just improve. Yeah, I think a good amount, especially when you're starting working out, would be two to three times a week. Just do a little routine like we did and then work your way up to, at the moment, I mean, Liza worked out around six times a week with the rest day. We also met running. And just try to stay as fit as you can possibly be. Thank you so much, Meg, for joining us in today's collaboration. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, we had a lot of fun filming it. Thanks, guys! Thank you for watching! Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!